Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, talking about the birth date of our Messiah, and praise our Father in Heaven, hallowed be His name. I believe we are able to find in Scripture and prove when His birthday actually is. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I came up with the date for our Messiah's birth. I'm sure you're not surprised that it's not in December, but as it turns out, it could be just a few days away. So that's why in this video, I'm just going to show you the verses really quickly so that you guys can tell me what you think down in the comment section as we prepare for a bigger production on our Messiah's birth and what the scripture says about it. So we're going to come over here to the lost books of the Bible. And I'll give you guys a link to this book so you can help out with this as our text is going to come from two of these books from the lost books of the Bible. The Gospel of the Birth of Mary and the first Gospel of the Infancy of our Messiah, which we'll look at first. Now, in the first Gospel of the Infancy, we're going to drop down to chapter two and we're going to look at verse five. Now, this is talking about right after the Messiah had been born. His circumcision has already been explained up there in the previous verses. You remember that oil that Mary Magdalene anointed the Messiah with? Well, in the previous verses, we find out what that oil was made out of. But anyway, we're going to drop down here to verse five, where it says, then after 10 days, they brought him to Jerusalem and on the 40th day from his birth, they presented him in the temple before the Lord, making the proper offering for him according to the requirement of the law of Moses, namely that every male which opens the wound shall be called holy unto God. Now, when we read in the law of Moses, we see that the circumcision had to occur on the eighth day. And we see that all who opened the matrix would be called holy unto the Lord and should be dedicated. But the thing about it, it doesn't give us a specific day that that dedication had to occur. But notice here, even though they took him to Jerusalem, which was about an eight hour walk, 10 days after his circumcision, they waited another 22 days until the 40th day after his birth in order to dedicate him. So what was special about this 40th day after his birth? Well, when we come back to the gospel of the birth of Mary, we can find out what was special about that day in chapter one. Now, this section of the book is all about Mary's parents. This would be the Messiah's grandparents particularly Mary's mother, who was barren and unable to have children. However, like we see there in verse six, they have made a vow that if they were to ever have children, they would dedicate that child to the temple. But notice down here in verse seven, where it says, and it came to pass that when the feast of dedication drew near, Jehoiachim, with some others of his tribe, went up to Jerusalem and at that time, Issachar was high priest. So here you have them, the Messiah's grandparents, who are trying to have a child going up to what is called the Feast of Dedication. Now, we know that as Hanukkah. But look at verse 8. It says, Who, when he saw Joachim, along with the rest of his neighbors, bringing his offering, despised both him and his offering and asked him, why he who had no children were presumed to appear among those who had, adding that his offering could not be acceptable to God. So notice something really interesting here. These people are taking their children to be dedicated at the Feast of Dedication. According to what we're reading here about what the high priest said, that's what the festival day was all about, was the dedication of these children even telling Jehoiakim that his offering could not be accepted because he didn't have any children. So why is he at the Feast of Dedication if he had no children? Now let's look at the book called Protoevangelium. 
This again is talking about the story of Jehoiachim, our Messiah's granddaddy, who was being opposed by the high priest. We see there in verse two is calling it a great feast and calling the high priest Reuben. But again, it's implying that the feast of dedication is all about the dedication of these children. So could this explain why they waited those extra days there in Jerusalem? waiting to the Feast of Dedication? If so, that tells us the exact timing of our Messiah's birth. He was born 40 days before the Feast of Dedication, which puts his birth sometime around the 14th or the 15th of Bull, the eighth sacred month. This, I believe, is when our Messiah's birthday is. In the year 2022, would fall around November the 9th or November the 10th, 40 days before Hanukkah. But you guys tell me what you think. I wanted to rush this video up. If this is actually correct, we only have a few days before his birthday, which I said will fall on the 9th or the 10th. So help me out. If you find any additional information that can help, please add it in the comment section. If you think I'm off track, Please add that too. Over the next couple of days, I plan on doing a bigger production on this, which will include some verses from the Third Testament that says that we are supposed to be celebrating his birth, which to me means we need to learn how to do it in the correct way and on the right day. So I appreciate your help and I'll see you in the comment section.